<sighs> Good morning, guys. Um, so I'm coming on here to share something um, pretty amazing and interesting. Um, so I'll start off, and I have some scripture to share with it. Sorry, I'm still like kind of waking up. Um, I have some scripture to share with it, but this was very interesting. So last night, um, I went to sleep. I was feeling really frustrated. <sighs> oh. I was feeling really frustrated because, um, my two oldest kids, um, my daughter and my stepdaughter were being really, um, defiant and disobedient and I was really frustrated um and upset about it and I went to sleep and um I was like laying there trying to think of you know well what will their uh disciplinary action be the next day um you know, what kind of consequences am I going to give them? Because it's like, it was one of those, like, I've had it up to here with the um, disobedient stuff and the not listening and, um, and stuff like that. And so I was really upset last night. And as I was, you know, getting even more upset at the fact that I couldn't think of what consequences I was going to give um, that would actually kind of, you know, work with them because they're such um, laid back girls that oftentimes when I would give like certain consequences, they'd just be like, okay <laughs> and just like and that'd be it and I would get even more frustrated like <laughs> like what <laughs> um and uh I have to take a lot to the Lord because my flesh is wretched um as my mother used to say like the mohawk in me comes out real quick um I remember growing up my mom being like knock it off or I'm going to scalp you. Um, <laughs> just like our, our, uh, family was very, um, graphic and vi had vile humor. Um, so that's definitely something that the Lord's been working on me with for years. Um, and it was always kind of something like certain things just always really bothered me anyway. But anyway, I don't want to go off on a rabbit trail. So, I was really upset last night, and as I was, you know, getting ready to fall asleep, I felt the Lord just download this into my spirit, and I know it was him because it is absolutely not something I would think about, and like, although my spirit is looking forward to his glory and what he has for the situation, my flesh is like, no, <laughs> so... This is, uh, this is pretty amazing. So, I felt the Lord telling me, um, don't give them any consequences. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, like, I need to discipline the cane out of them. Like, you know, discipline the hell out of them so they don't go to hell. You know what I mean? Like, these are all the things I'm thinking of. Like, spoil, um, spare the rod, spoil the child. Although, I do spank my kids, but I don't spank them often. Like, maybe anywhere from two to four times a year. Um, I've gotten a lot better with that over the years. Um, and it's for, like, some really, like, heavy things. Um, but otherwise, I just, you know, I've just found different ways to discipline them. And I felt the Lord telling me, don't give them any consequences. And I was like is this you, Lord, right now? Like, are you telling me this? Or like, I'm starting, now I'm testing the spirits because I'm like, whoa, now. And I felt the Lord telling me, give me all of their consequences. And when he said that, I was like, okay, so we're really going somewhere right now. 
and then all this like again he just started downloading all this knowledge into me like give me all of their consequences because I died for their sins just as much as your sins just as much as everybody else's sins in the world and when he was telling me this it's like I had this knowing of how everything was gonna go and so I, I just had this knowing of how this was going to kind of work out. Um, that anytime they mess up with something where I would normally like get really upset or yell at them or, um, or give them some kind of disciplinary action or something like that, um, that I'd go in the other room unleash my anger to the Lord, come back out and tell them, you know, if it's something that was bad enough, that would be worth like them being spanked instead of being spanked, that's going to be a whipping f for Jesus that Jesus got because he was whipped for us. Um, or, you know, if it's something, oh, you know, I feel like you're just spitting in my face. Like you, you know, you kids are just walking all over me right now. That's Jesus taking that and being spat in his face. So basically anything, um, you know, if they were mocking me, which thank God my kids don't do that, at least not to my face, um, you know, then it would be when they mock Jesus. So I think you kind of get the picture. Um, and, or just, yeah. So this is the information that was being given to me of how all this is going to play out. Um, I'm still, you know, praying with the Lord on how exactly I'm going to communicate it to them. Sorry guys. I like, I get pretty intense allergies. Um, but this is how it's going to go. And then I woke up um a couple hours later uh to get up with the baby and give him his uh bob because he's too manly for a baba he calls it it's bob but anyway just a little funny thing there so i woke up a couple hours later to get um the baby his bob and as i was waking up i was hearing the lord telling me i desire mercy more than sacrifice and I was just hearing that and hearing that. And I was like, okay, that's, in, that's interesting. And I was like, you know, trying to hold on to that. And took care of the baby, went back to sleep, woke up in the morning. And I was still thinking about that verse. Um, and uh, really reflecting on everything that the Lord gave me. And I felt like he was just giving me understanding upon understanding upon understanding. And, you know, letting me know that he not only died for all of my sins and everyone else's sins, but he died for all of their sins, too. And in this, um, in this kind of new structure that he's going to have me do with the kids for I don't know how long. I don't know if it's like a temporary thing or for the rest of our time here. I don't know how long he plans on doing, um, having me do this with him for. But that not only will it help uh, them to receive the truth that he died for all of their sins and what he went through and what he takes from us, but help them to also understand the level of his mercy and his grace. <clears throat> now, it's not that they're not, they're going to reap what they sow. Um, in one way, shape or form, they're going to reap it. That's a, you know, I'm, I'm leaving that to God because he gave me this mission. Um, he told me to do this with him. So whatever, however, that's going to play out, um, aside from how he's going to have me do it with them, you know, that's in his control. Um, you know, if they're with their other parent, cause I have, you know, partial custody and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, other people, however, that's going to happen this summer vacation. So not only that, but I also realized it's going to help me a lot to not only receive the the truth 
of the Lord's salvation better because I was praying not too long ago, like, Lord, you know, your, your salvation is so deep and, you know, there's the simple basis to it, but there's such mystery beneath, you know, in the depth of it. And I wanted to understand his salvation even better. And it's amazing how, you know, the ways he answers our prayers. And so I know that this is something that's going to help me with that. Um, cause I always, I love going deeper. Like I just want to go deeper and deeper with him. Um, but it's also going to help me to not only receive his mercy and grace better, but to extend his mercy and grace better, um, which are other things that I've prayed about too. So it's, it's the Lord is, he's just brilliant and beautiful. Um, and, uh, I'll, I'll tell you again, this is something that's, um, that I can see the wisdom in through my, uh, through my spirit. And, uh, I look forward to seeing his glory play through this, but my flesh is also like, no, <laughs> cause you know, I see, I see things and I see certain ways they act and I'm a strict parent. So, um, you know, when they're being good, I'm all over them, affection, so on and so forth. But when they're doing things they're not supposed to or dangerous things, like I'm on it. Um, that's just, you know, how I've been. And so it's definitely going to be like, it's going to be um, interesting uh, <laughs> to say the least. So pray for me. <laughs> but um, I wanted to share this with you guys because... Um, Although, like, this is day one and I haven't even, you know, I haven't even put this into action yet. I haven't, I don't have anything to give back to you guys on. Um, but if the Lord wills it um, over however much time, I will come back and, and give you guys an update. Um, but if this is something that really hits you the way it hit me, if you feel the Lord speaking to you on this too, um, just pray about it, take it to him. Um, and if not, like, you know, that's, that's fine. I'm not saying this is something that everyone has to do. I don't, I feel like there's wisdom in this. I know that there's a uh, spiritual wisdom in this because when I was praying about it and asking the Lord, should I make a video about this? I just heard yes, but I knew it was his heart. Like I just knew in that. Yes. It was like, this is my heart. Um, this is how much I want your children to understand the depths of my salvation. And oh, another thing he was telling me is, listen, you might not see positive results right away. You might see them trying to take advantage. Um, you might see them acting careless. Um, you might see them maybe even being a little more rebellious in certain areas, but hold on and trust in me. And knowing the Lord, um, and how he works and how he's so patient with us. I mean, like I, I can be real slow with a lot of things. I'm not going to lie. And the years he's worked on me with certain things yet, if he just laid it on me fast, I mean, I would not have taken it. And so I trust in him, um, in his timing and how this is going to work. And yeah, so if this is for you too, um, which I kind of feel like this is a for everyone thing, um, but take it to the Lord because I feel like this is just such a beautiful opportunity um, to really work on, you know, the, the wisdom uh, that the Lord has for, for our children when it comes to receiving salvation, grace, and mercy, and... Uh, this is just a thought that I have, um, but I feel like, you know, kind of putting two and two together that over time, uh, they're going to realize like, wow, you know, I really, I really did that to Jesus. I contributed, uh, just like everyone else in the world to having him whipped, to nailing him on the cross, um, and not really wanting to hurt him that way. Of course, you know, we're all in our uh, original sin flesh sacks right now, and we're all, you know, we're going to mess up, period. But 
when it comes to the whole willful a aspect, the, the willful sin, um, the willfully serving Satan, the willfully being rebellious, um, because this is all something, you know, as kids, we have to, we have to learn about the Lord and, and come out of that, um, with him. So I, I feel like over time, uh, however much time, um, depending on where they're at spiritually, this is going to be beautiful revelation for them. And for me, in you know, in some ways that I kind of expect, but possibly in even much, many more ways than that. So take this to the Lord um, yourselves. Um, <clears throat> and I wanted to share scriptures. So like I said, I was hearing, I desire mercy more than sacrifice. <clears throat> and so I was like, all right, like I know the scripture, but let me look it up anyway. And I was led to two versions. So first was Hosea uh, chapter 6, verse 6. This is the first one I was led to. For I desire mercy and not, sa not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. And that part that says, and the knowledge of God, it really struck me because that's exactly what this was. Uh, the Lord downloading this knowledge into me. I did not come up with this idea. My flesh was like not thrilled about it, to be honest with you. Um, so that's just beautiful for I desire mercy and not sacrifice and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. And then the other one I was led to was Matthew nine verse 13, but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice for I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Wow. Wow. Um, you know, I've read that verse before and I, I felt like I didn't understand it the way I wanted to understand it. It's, it's one of those verses where it's like, okay, you know, the Lord's spitting some real stuff right there. Like there's some depth, there's some wisdom there. Um, and I felt like I didn't really understand the, the depth underneath that. And I feel like I'm starting to understand that now. Uh, so I'll read it one more time, but go and learn what this means. I desire mercy and not sacrifice, for I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And this is the thing. What is this going to do? This is going to, this is really going to give the kids a repentant heart. Um, and uh, help us all to understand the Lord deeper, because that's what we all want. We want to understand the Lord deeper. And trust me, guys. Um, I know a lot of you are thinking right now, spare the rod, spoil the child. I'm not, I'm not speaking against that. Um, I'm not speaking against that. Uh, and I'm not saying that that verse is incorrect. Um, I do agree with that. But this, I feel like the Lord is trying to take us deeper. So I don't know where your kids are at, um, you know, spiritually, what their knowledge of God is, what their relationship with God is, if they're in a position for you to do this with them now um, or not, or if you need to teach them more about Jesus or however, I don't know where you and your children are at. Um, all I know is if, if you feel the Lord guiding you to this too, uh, seek, seek it out, work with him on it. Um, because, wow, do I feel like there's going to be so much revelation and glory and power um, of the Lord in this. Uh, and that will return back to him and his kingdom, which is the most important. So, Lord, your will be done uh, for anyone else who you're trying to reach um, to have them do this with their children, too. Um, I ask that you lead them into a quiet place with you, that you confirm this to them, uh, if, if you are calling them to this as well. And I ask that you give us all strength and endurance and strength to continue this mission, Lord, and um, to help us receive and help our children to receive in whatever time it takes. Uh, your beauty and your depth and wisdom and revelation in all of this. And I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless, guys. Bye.